Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, we make a composite using different tools from Topaz Labs. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is uh, Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in the beautiful city of Paris. And I make two tutorials per week, not one, two. All you have to do to get them every week is subscribe here to my YouTube channel and you will get notifications from YouTube twice a week when they come out. And if you want to get the raw file for this episode and all the past episodes, we're talking hundreds of raw files, all you have to do is click here to subscribe to my newsletter, allow me to spam you a little bit, and you will get an email for each free tutorials and all the raw files for all the past episodes. A lot of value. All right, in last episode I showed you how to use the quick selection tool and the refine edge tool in Photoshop CC to extract this photo of my daughter and her crazy hairs. That's the before and that's the after. This week we are going to continue on creating composite, but this time we're going to use Topaz Lab Remask 3, a really cool tool that has a lot more tools, but very easy to use to get uh, your selection to the next level. Then we will also use Topaz Lab Simplify four to get a little illustration look to the final image that you can see here. So let me show you how I did this. Just before we get started, I just want to announce that my latest preset, Volume 8 Winter, just came out. What it is is 50 presets on Lightroom that is totally tailor-made for winter type photos. You can see some of the before and after here. This is completing our collection of four seasons, just like Vivaldi, the four seasons. If you go to tutorials, you can see now we have three models. One is all we ever done in terms of preset, volume one to eight, that is 450 Lightroom presets, 60 camera presets for a uh, very good price, $137. You've got 450 preset. Or you can go for the just the four season presets where you can buy all the four seasons for $87. Or you can go to presets and buy them individually based on your taste. And you can see on clicking more info what they look like and how they're going to be used. The whole idea of preset is that it's going to take your photos to places you did not expect. You click on one of them and you come to and you see something you didn't expect. You know, sometimes when we touch photos, we have a preconceived idea and we just click away and we get a look that we did not expect and we go, wow, you know, uh, I didn't thought I could do it this way. So it's a great source of inspiration and can get you looks you, yeah, you, you would not have thought of in the first place. All right, so check them out and let's get started with the tutorial. All right, so today we're gonna do uh, some more extraction and we're gonna play around with some of the Topaz Labs uh, plugins that I really like and I'm really discovering all of them and there is some really cool features. Uh, I want to show you, uh, yeah, just a little composite that I did yesterday. I thought it was kind of fun. I wanted to share with you guys. So here we have a photo of Arthur, uh, an actor, a French actor that uh, is a friend. And I took him with, uh, you know, he has water on it. He's like a boxer. And th there was just one light coming from the left, a, a pretty soft light. I was trying to go for a Rembrandt lighting. So the whole idea of Rembrandt lighting is you only, you know, let half of the body but you have to do it in a way so that both eyes are still led. So you get the drama of, you know, half, you know, of, you know, a lot of shadows, but you still get the intensity on both eyes. So, and then I bought this from Shutterstock or Photolia, some, some, um, some stock image, uh, uh, you know, website. I cannot give you that image because I cannot distribute it, but you can get any type of background, but I'm going to give you that raw file so you can play around with it. So first thing, I'm just going to do a little bit of editing. I just want to open up a bit the shadows because it's kind of, uh, yeah, it's kind of uh, really dark there. Add some clarity for some intense, maybe low, lower the saturation a little bit. Uh, you know, not much to it. And maybe boost up a bit the exposure. I want a gritty look to this photo. Okay, so now I'm gonna right click, edit, edit in Adobe Photoshop CC. And I'm gonna show you another uh, masking tool which I found really cool is the Topaz um, Remask 3. So I'm going to copy the background. I'm going to go to Filter, Topaz, Topaz Remar Remax 3. All right. And so here we have... Now, the way that plugin works is that, well, everything that is green, and by default, everything is green, is what you want to keep, right? So the first thing you have to do is outline what uh, you're trying to extract. 
So you've got three brushes. They call that the basic brushes. Green, red, and blue. Blue is the outline one. So uh, let me adjust the brush size. You can take a fairly big brush. All right. Let me jump to my tablet. It's actually easier if you do that with a tablet. And then I'm just going to outline his body because this is where I want Topaz to do its magic. You don't have to be precise, you know. You're just telling Topaz, well, you know, this is where... Uh, this is the limit of the body and this is where I want you to compute and extract the gentleman. Here there is some hairs. That's going to be a little tricky part. Hairs is always tricky. And uh, you just go around like this. Boom, 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 boom. Until you've outlined the body that you want to extract. Okay, I have shaky hands this morning. All right, so the next, uh, you have to go to the fill buckets and you take the red one and you just click outside. So red is what you want to get rid of, blue is the outline, and green is what you want to keep. At this point, you just click on Compute Mask and it's going to do its best to, uh, to do the, well, the, most of the heavy lifting for you. Now, you can see there are some stuff going on that's not really cool. So um, the best way to correct that is to split the screen on the left, I'm going to go for, uh, the, for example, the, uh, the mask. And here I'm going to go for the keep. What the keep is, this is going to be, this is not the original background. The original background is like this. The keep is just uh, basically, uh, yeah, it's, it's like a gray neutral background. So that we can compare that. I'm going to, and let's zoom in a little bit. So you can click on zoom in. And then you take the second, uh, the, the green brush now, that, now that we use the blue brush, and with the green brush, you can just go and start brushing uh, inside of the body that you want to keep. And, uh, and, it's, and the algorithm is going to do its best to correct the extractions. I like that. You know, see how I did it here and it corrected there also? I think that's pretty cool. Okay, let's move down here in the elbow. All right, that's pretty, and we have some troubles with the pens here. All right. And uh, you, you, know, you just click and make your mask a little bit easier. What they have, oh, you see, I, I overdid it here. If you do that, you can take the red one and just go on that, and it's gonna try to do its best to correct it, okay? And uh, what I like about it is it's got a lot more tools than Photoshop. Uh, you know, to refine your selection. Oh, that's the, something is wrong with the fingers here. Yeah, we need to make sure. It takes a bit of time, but you usually end up with a much better selection with, than Photoshop. Uh, and it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty easy to use. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Usually what I go for also is I go for, um, I click on a high key quality video and then recovery, and I do some recovery. It takes a bit of time, but it usually helps around the hair. So I'm gonna just pause this video until it does the processing of the recovery. It helps to get the outline even better. All right, so the, out, the algorithm did its magic. And then you can zoom in and just you know make sure your, your masking is pretty good. On the hairs, it's, uh, it's not so bad. I would you know add a bit of uh, you know the green here, there. Now they also have a tool that I like a lot. See, for example, something is wrong with the finger there. They have the dual color selection. I like that. You just click on it, and then you. F the first thing is you have this little tool. Uh, it's green. You click on whatever you want to keep, and then it becomes red. You click on whatever whatever you want to get rid of. For example, this black thing, and then you brush, and it's trying to do the magic here. Well, let's do it again. Green, red, brush. Okay. Well, it doesn't always work. So w when it doesn't always work, what you do is you just retake the blue selection. And you just redraw on that, and usually it corrects the matter. So, uh, and then you can look at the mask, and again go for the green. So it's you know it's a, uh, and now we've got it right here. There's a bit of transparency that I want to get rid of, and that looks like a very nice mask to me. It looks very nice, and um, so a ma mask hardness can make it harder. Uh, I wouldn't go for that. Mask strength. Uh, the thing is that when you play around with mark harness and mask strength, sometimes you can have a little 
halo around your selection, which I'll show you how to get rid of. But anyways, I just wanted to show you this tool because I, I think it does really a good job. Oh, here, I can see something's wrong there. So I can add the plus. And uh, yeah, that seems to be pretty cool. I think I have a pretty decent selection. Oh, here around the elbow. I mean, it takes some time, you know, to just go around and make sure it's kind of cool. But you see, usually these little problems, uh, you see it now. You see, now we've got some black stuff, so I have to take the red one. When you actually do your composite, they disappear. Uh, you know, because uh, people don't see this type of uh, mistake usually. You can get away with a lot, uh, usually. Okay, I, I'm pretty satisfied with the mask. I don't want to bore you with that, but I just want to show you some of the tools. Um, the tools I didn't uh, show you is, for example, the Singer Color Collection. Uh, well, that is, for example, you just click on this uh, green one, for and uh, you click on whatever you want to keep, and instead of going red like this one, it just goes with a brush, and you just brush here, and it's going to pick up any hairs which is missing. So you click on the red, and you can do that around the hairs. It's going to pick up like small hairs that you may have missed. The red one does the opposite. So you would click on the on the foreground, and you would click on the on the hairs, and it would get rid of you know whatever te background texture got inside there. But you see now how is my mask picked up all the small hairs? That's pretty cool. That's something you don't have with Photoshop. Photoshop is really like a you have to have faith in the algorithm. All right, so uh, I'm in Photoshop. Now my uh, character is on, on his own background. So I'm gonna go back to Lightroom, take my background, click Edit, Edit in Adobe Photoshop CC. I don't wanna retouch it, it's already like I want. And I'm just gonna take him with the Move tool and drag and drop him uh, on my background here, okay? Press Command T to make him a bit smaller. I don't want him to be so big, but I want him to be pretty big, maybe something like that. Okay, I want to make sure you know the light is strong here and it's very dark here so that uh, you know it looks natural that he's really led like that. That's pretty cool. Now I I'm going to give you a little quick tip to get the colors to match. I mean they they match pretty cool, but if you want to get them to match exactly, what you can do is duplicate the background, put the background on the top of uh, your character here. Then you go to Filter, Blur, and you go to uh, Average. That's going to make, it's going to see what is the color of uh, that texture, and it's going to make an average of it. And then you put this in color mode, okay? And then the, the whole thing now is that color. Now you want to make sure that this only affects that, uh, the, the character. So you press the Alt key, boom, and it only affects the character. Now this is way too strong, so what you do is you lower the opacity, at, that's 0% and you just go up a little bit, you know, usually like around 25, 26%. And it just, you know, just helps blend looks before and after. It just, it just you know, gets the color of the background into the, the person. Okay, last but not least, let's play around again with some Topaz uh, plugin. I, I like the outline, it's pretty good. So I'm going to press Command-Alt-Shift-E. Command-Alt-Shift-E is... Uh, what it does is that it creates a layer that took everything into account and that we've done so far into one layer. It's like flooding the, all the layers, but f instead of going to the bottom, it goes to the top. So that layer has got everything we've done so far. And then I'm gonna go to Filter. I'm gonna go again to Topaz Lab, and this time I'm gonna take Topaz Simplify 4. Uh, that's a really cool uh, plugin to give some like uh, illustrative look to your photos. And um, so like, they have like families, uh, you know, of, uh, of presets. So for example, you click on the first one, when you, when you click, you know, uh, and then you've got, that's like a family of presets, then you've got all the presets. So these are very like illustrative type, type of looks, you know, and actually if you, if you move your mouse over, uh, you know, uh, you can see a little preview here. Okay, and then the, I'm not gonna show them all, you have to, you know, find out for yourself, but I'm going to use Detail Removal and Enhancement. And um, I think the one I used was, uh, well, last year setting Spot Removal 1. No, Spot Removal 2. I just, you know, I look at them. I, I'm going for a little, uh, I want something uh, really nice. Now, that, you see, Spot Removal makes just, you know, uh, getting all the details out. It's pretty cool, but let's see, Dust Removal 1. 
two, uh, three, four. Edge and detail boost. Yeah, that's the one. Edge and detail boost. I like that. It it really gave like an illustrative look to it. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for this one. I like that look. And uh, now, as usual, this is on its own layer. So if you think it's too strong, you can back it down. But I just wanted to show you how you can, you know, uh, in very little time, you know, create a pretty, uh, pretty funny uh, stuff. You know, look, check it out before, after. I love actually the the look that the Topaz plugin gave. You know, so if you want to check out the Topaz uh, plugin. You can go to my website, photosearch.com, which is linked below this video. You can see it everywhere. And you can go to news, topaz, and, uh, and there you can see, uh, then you can, if you go through this page, click here to get started, uh, you actually help sponsor uh, all the free stuff that I do. So, and then you go there and you'll, you usually get some good deals uh, from that point on. But if you go through my website, I get a commission and you help finance all the free stuff that I do and all the raw files I'm giving away for free. So that'd be really nice if you can do that. That would be of a help. And uh, check out this pro, they are preset, they're really cool. Okay, so let's get back to me. I hope you like the final result. Let me show it to you again. I like it, you know, it's, it was pretty uh, easy to do and, uh, and uh, you know, start doing that with your friends. I'll be very impressed, uh, you know, with your composites. Voila, mesdames et messieurs. Okay, mesdames et messieurs, hope you like this. I hope you check out our package of presets that are ready for you and for your creation. Thank you very much for being there and I'll see you in the next episode. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir.